HLS Show Me How, Moving a Planner Plan Across Teams. Hi, I'm your host, Michael Giannotti, and I'm a technology specialist with the Healthcare and Life Sciences Group here at Microsoft. Hey, so today's uh, question came from a customer and they asked how they could take a plan that was in one team and then surface that in a channel in another team, cross team. So there is an easy way today that if you want to take a plan from one channel and surface it in another um, to do so with that. But there really is not a clean given way out of the box today to be able to go ahead and say, look, I need this. I have this plan and it's in another team and now I want to have it in this team and show that. Um, but I'm going to show you kind of an end around just to show you real quickly, though, if we come in here and say we want to add a plan or I can come in. And it's going to give me the option now, you know, I already have a, ta a plan in here. It's called team tasks. And so I could create a new plan or use an existing. But when I use an existing, it's only looking at the plans within that given team. I'm not given a view or the ability to drop a link in to a plan uh, that I already have. So that's not really going to help me for what I want. What I'd like to do is take the plan that I have here, this team tasks, and I want to put this or a plan like that into, I have another um, team here, and I want to put that there. So, you know, again, if I go ahead and I click and say I want a planner, it's going to open up, use existing. It's going to show me the uh, existing one that's here, but that's not what I want. So there is another way. The website link. Now this is not the cleanest. You'll see it's going to bring in a lot of extra Chrome, but it will allow us to quickly and easily drop in for now um, the plan that I that I want to access. So I can go ahead and I can just call this team tasks and then I need a URL. And what I did was I came over here and here is planner you can see and I've got a bunch of demo ones I use. Here's this one that I want to grab. There's that plan. That's the one we just saw. And what I can do here is, you know, we have a couple of different drop down. This one is going to show me the name. In this case, I'm going to click it and I can copy a link to the plan, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, there is one stipulation. The people that are coming from this other team have to have permissions. If not, you need to change that, change permissions. So I'm just going to paste that in. We'll go ahead and click saving and it's going to say welcome to planner and just like that there is my plan so i've now dropped it in using the simple uh web drop down you know the web uh, link for a website it, but it does have all the chrome but for now this will give me the access uh, that i need so that i can go ahead and leverage a plan that's done elsewhere within another given team in any channel that i desire so very quick, very simple. Again, um, we'll come up here, press that little icon, click website, give it the URL to the plan, and that's it. You're up and running into the races. So that's it. You know, uh, using the website link is kind of the all, it's kind of the Swiss tool of all things. It's not always the neatest and the cleanest, but it is functional. Um, you'll find that you can do that from within the application, the Teams application. You can go in and easily drop in views to other stuff, provided people have a, access to that website. It can be pretty much anything. And since Planner in this case is web-based, I can grab a link directly to the plan, drop it in. It does bring the rest of the Chrome, but it's fully functional. Uh, the only caveat is if the permissions to that plan are not the same as the permissions to my existing site, I'll need to adjust that to make sure that all my members have access to that plan. But that's it. It's fairly straightforward. If you have questions and you're a customer and you're looking, in this case, this is kind of a um, an end around. But if you're looking for other things, how tos, what you'd like, you know, need to do management wise, user wise, productivity wise, simply connect with myself and my colleagues over at https colon whack whack aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. We'd be happy to answer your questions to create 
show me how videos, uh, recorded whiteboards, whatever we need. We want to help you, the customer. So with that, this is Mike Giannotti saying thank you. Take care, and as always, have a great day.